on this show. But one Newsweek senior writer has made a name for himself this election season with an arsenal of florid headlines, especially florid ones. His name is Kurt Eichenwald, and he joins us now. Kurt, thanks all for coming on. Thanks for having me. So, so I, I've been reading your stuff for, I mean, 20 years probably. But in the last year, I've noticed an increasing, I think it's fair to say, partisan turn uh, from you. And so I looked up your bio, and it describes you as a senior writer at Newsweek, which suggests journalism. Do you believe that you're practicing journalism? <laughs> When did you stop beating your wife? Uh, get, what are you talking about? Well, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I, I read your Twitter feed, and this is uh, the kind of stuff I'm reading on it. At one point, uh, you ask of conservatives, why do they hate America? You describe Trump as, quote, stupid and lazy. You, you refer to dumbass Trumpers. You say this to Kellyanne Fitzpatrick. F you. You well, say hold, this to hold Trump on voters. Again. Hold Go on F here, yourself. Tucker. I mean... One of the things I want to make sure of, you that have a real habit of taking a lot of things out of context. I can read and the so tweets. And so if you're going to talk about a tweet, let's talk okay. about a tweet. Read me what it says, and we can talk about it. But sure. let's not just sit here and take a couple of words here and there. Now, if you're talking about the Okay, do you, would you want me to read some of your tweets? One. Read me you one. Let's talk about the one that bothers you the most. Well, I mean, there are a lot, um, and it's not that they bother me. But I can't, Actually, I can't I think answer you're, a question you're about entirely, a lot you're, of tweets. Give me an answer. You're entirely, Give me a well, you're entirely entitled to your opinion. I, I just, my only point is that you ought to label yourself as what you are, which is an advocate. And so you say things like this. How can oh, Trumpsters oh, okay, defend okay, a president Let's stop elect? for a second. Okay. You won't I mean, I can, give me an example. I'm trying to give okay, you one well, right then, now. Then give me... Perfect. Here, you know what? Let's play the game another way. I oh. spent a little while just sort of... Doing Wait, some no, research actually, on you. Let, why don't you answer? Let me, this you, let is me what ask I came you this up question, with. if you Tucker would. Tucker Carlson falsehoods. <laughs> okay. And okay. I can sit here Sorry. and I can read them to you one I at a time. I appreciate it. And right. we can talk about what you have to say. That's but pretty good. Or, let, let me, or let me, you can give me an example of what you're talking about. Well, I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. You wrote this okay. on September 12th of this year. You said, this is a tweet. I tweet so many attacks on our bad, lazy work of the press, I doubt I'll ever be voted to win a journalism award again, which is also a humble brag, by the way. But the next day, you say quite ironically, and I'm quoting, I believe Trump was institutionalized in a mental hospital for a nervous breakdown in 1990, which is why he won't release his medical records. Do you see a little irony that on one day you're criticizing the press for being lazy and inaccurate, and the next day you yourself are being <laughs> let me, lazy and let inaccurate? Let me give you what the question is the journalist would ask. A journalist okay. would ask the question, why did you send that tweet? I will answer it for you now. I've been covering Donald Trump. I started writing about him in the late 1980s. At that time, I obtained his medical records from his real doctor, not from this guy right. who sent out a medical report then. It showed that in 1982, he was given a very heavy prescription for an amphetamine derivative, and he remained on that prescription for many years. I knew from people inside the Trump organization that uh, they were deeply concerned about his condition, that he was getting reckless, that he was getting um, impulsive, that he wasn't sleeping, that he was speaking with these sort of great variations of grandeur, that he could do anything. And uh, in 1990, because he did so many deals that were so reckless, uh, his whole empire was going into bankruptcy. And he was going through a divorce, and I was told that there was and Now, let me say, I'm talking about reporting process. So I'm saying, here is what I was told. Was he in a I mental hospital or that, not in 1990? You allege that he was. Was he or wasn't he? He wasn't. Can, was can, he? I, can I? I mean, Tucker, if you don't want me to answer the question, I, I'm asking so, you the question. Was he in a mental hospital on. in 1990 But I would or like not. to answer the question. You've made an okay. accusation. Let me answer. No, I read your tweet. So in, in 1990, I was told that there was an, uh, essentially a breakdown. I'm giving reporting process here, okay? Clearly, I didn't print it. Uh, I also thought Trump was a private individual and that it didn't matter, you know? Well, you printed um, it right here. And, that as a, and this was as a result of the um, uh, amphetamine derivatives that he was taking. Um, many, many years pass, and we have now the election. Now, up until that point, prior to the election, this is a election, very long story. You said he was in a mental hospital in 1990. Was he or wasn't he? It's a really Tucker. simple question. If you don't I'm asking like you to finish. Answer, Please answer the if question. If you don't like the answer, don't have guests. But I would really like to answer your question. It's now, a simple question. Was he in a mental many, many hospital, years. as you claimed, or wasn't he? Tucker, 
Would you like me to answer the question or okay. not? If the answer is no, say so. Please but succinctly don't answer the question. You You're want an answer if you won't okay. let me answer the question. Kurt, we can go, go back and say, oh, here are Tucker Carlson's falsehoods. Let's go through them one okay. at a time. Kurt, I urge you. Said you. The guy I will send these to hospital. you. You can put them right. on the Fox News website. Okay. Do you want me to go answer ahead. the question or not? Just give this me a yes or no. Do you want me to answer the question? Yeah, I want you to answer okay. this question. Was he in a mental hospital in 1990, as you alleged, Let or was he not? Let me answer the question. Go ahead. You are. Look, you're not fooling anybody. You're trying to stop me from giving the answer. <laughs> so let okay, me give Kurt, you the answer. This is a little nutty. So, I got to be honest. I'm asking you okay, a very I also crisp noticed question. earlier this week you take people off the air when you don't like what they're saying. So okay. let's Kurt, keep I'm me on the air. Time. Let's finish this. You're okay. making accusations okay. against me. You, I have the right to respond. I'm reading what you wrote. Um, you, so, you described Trump as a, quote, paranoid, Tucker, unstable nobody man. nobody is getting fooled you by this. You're not letting me answer the question. Okay. So I think let's that go you're humiliating to, yourself by uh, your unwillingness to it, answer a simple question. So please answer it. Last I am time. trying to answer the Do you question. Have evidence Unfortunately, he was in a unlike on your world, you? reality is not always able to give you a yes or no answer. If you don't, <laughs> look how much time we are wasting with me trying to say, let me answer your question, and you refusing to allow me to do I it. I'll go crazy. So okay. I will continue. All right. What happens then when we get to... Um, uh, I begin to see Trump's behavior got very normalized in the 2000s. During the presidential election, I begin to see the same behavior, the impulsiveness, the lack of sleep. I mean, that's the same thing this that he just, was this doing. This is just stupid, Kurt. I'm sorry. Nobody's getting anything the, out of this. The, I'm asking you a plain question. Other, You're not answering. You're filibustering. All the Let's other, move on to something Tom, else. You're not, can, can you stop? Tucker, this is not interesting. No, Tucker, Let me ask. I am not allowing you to, ch to make an accusation and then I'm not, not making allow an accusation, me to answer. Kurt. That is I'm, obscene. I'm, it asking is not you journalism. to substantiate a claim that you made. If you want to have a dialogue, don't have guests. Can I ask you one last question? And nobody's getting fooled. You're trying to How stop. can Newsweek employ so, you as a reporter, Kurt, when you're throwing <laughs> lines like this around that are untrue, that you can't substantiate, when you say to the president's Tucker, spokesman, you just F not, you, well, you, that's not you, the behavior uh, of a look, reporter. Okay, let's go here. Ah, let me take one for you. How can <laughs> okay. Fox News employ you? You really want to okay. do this? Do you really want to play this game? Or do you this want me to answer? This is performance art. I've never had an interview like this in my this life. Newsweek.com if you want. I could tweet okay. it all out if you want. I'd all like right. you to put it up on the Fox News website. Or all right. you can let me answer your question. I, I, I think, think you may, I, think may be coming on How about Begging this? I'm going to give you 30 answer seconds answer to answer this question. Do you have evidence that he was institutionalized no, in a mental hospital in 1990? Still on 30 the seconds. Now, okay, I will say this, because it's a message I've got from people from the CIA. Uh... I know a lot of officers, I know a lot of agents, I've been in their homes, and they're really delivering this to you and to Donald Trump. Uh, these are people who have sacrificed a lot for this country. They What's go the through message? into the CIA every day, they walk past that wall with 117 stars. I get it. What's the message? Stars. You, if, if you're going to say that we can't talk about the fact that there are 117 patriots whose lives have been lost serving this country. That's fine. I have con right I'm starting to have, have concerns about you, in, Kurt. Right now, tell me what the, the secret message from the CIA is. Who are putting their lives on the line, who are to be sources of information for the CIA. That information is coming in. That information is then being put together by analysts who are uh, not well paid, and they do very hard work, and they do yeah. it because okay. they are. Patriots. I'm sorry, we're they we're out of time, Kurt, and and I, I don't mean this in a in a, in a cool you way. I and I would have real concerns if liars, I were one of your editors, and I mean news. that. I'm not calling anyone a liar, it's but I am it's saying despicable. I'm concerned about your behavior on this show tonight. But thanks a lot for joining us. That's because you I, won't I let me answer it. your questions. I don't think <laughs> okay. anybody's fooled. Thanks a lot, Kurt. I appreciate it. Well, we expect President-elect Trump to begin speaking in Hershey, Pennsylvania, at any minute. While we wait, we're going to go to Fox News senior national correspondent.